Living on Mercury would be a very difficult task for mankind. It's the closest planet to the Sun and it experiences extreme fluctuations in temperatures with near to no atmosphere. When imagining Mercury, most people think of it as being a burning red colour, perhaps because of its extreme proximity to the Sun, but in reality it is much more grey and moon-like. Mercury is a mysteriously complex planet, but if we had the technology to survive on its surface, what would it be like? Well, firstly we'd have to deal with the severe temperature changes. Throughout the day, temperatures on the planet can reach 800 degrees Fahrenheit, and throughout the night, temperatures can plummet to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. If you could somehow survive the blistering heat throughout the day and looked up into the sky, you would see the sun but it would look 2.5 times larger than it does here on Earth. You would have plenty of time to enjoy the sun's rays, as on Mercury, one day lasts almost 59 Earth days. However, the sun wouldn't be surrounded by a beautiful blue sky. Mercury's sky would be black, because the planet has virtually no atmosphere to scatter the sun's light, which also means the stars wouldn't glisten. The surface, however, would feel calm, as without an atmosphere, the planet does not have any weather events. But you would be able to see a violent history through Mercury's surface scars. Its surface is littered with craters and basins of all sizes. It is the smallest planet in our solar system and has about 38% the gravity of Earth, which would mean you could jump three times as high as you can now. Over many years, we have been sending probes off into space in the aim of learning more about our planetary neighbours but Mercury is the least explored. This is probably because it is generally less likely to contain evidence of life, or even allow us to colonise its surface one day in the future. But with all its extreme characteristics, it is definitely one of our solar system's most interesting members. So if you enjoyed this video and want to watch some more interesting content to do with our weird and wonderful universe, then why not click on the video showing now, How the Moon Was Formed. It's from a great YouTube channel that I really recommend called Today I Found Out. They make brilliant videos to do with all kinds of fascinating subjects, so make sure to check out their channel and subscribe while you're at it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The Earth had no moon until it was struck by a rogue planet, which instantly vaporised. The impact is said to have created a cloud that reached roughly 13,700 miles or 22,000 kilometres high, where it condensed into solid particles that orbited the Earth. Over time, they aggregated.